I don't know if any of this is going to work through, but I really want to play this game. Even though I've got 12 FPS right now, and that's, oops, relatively smooth for me. Uh, oh yeah, I'm on 1000000400000. I think I got the right card. Uh, yeah, alright. Now, I put so much stuff in here to make it pretty and interesting. Whoa, okay, so that is the right place. Isn't that nice? Banners are waving. See if I had to find the banners. Wouldn't be waving and that would be a help. Anyway, I like this game so much that I just wanted to dress up the lobby. Because Brian's really good at making these contraptions. But, you know, he's playing this um, exploration and tactics series right now. He hasn't even finished his house. It's missing a wall. It's missing the roof. I think it's so we could do that. Let me see if I can do it. F5? No. Cancel. I didn't hit 5. Cancel. I don't have Twitch yet. Well, I do, but no. I was just going to do something cute, and I can't, because there we go. See? Don't I look the same from the front as the back? Ooh, that's cool. Um, so he likes to do this when he signs off and stuff. So, I don't think he likes having a wall, because look, if you have a wall in front of you, it makes it kind of derpy. Alright, so, anyway, F5? Is this F5? No. Uh, see, I look like I'm forwards when I'm backwards. That's the back of my head. So, when I'm on, like, servers and stuff, you know, like Hypixel and whatnot, you can see it up my skirt. <gasps> That's terrible. Uh, oops, anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll walk around and act all silly. And people won't know if I'm going forward or backwards. I figured having a face on my, on the back of my head might not be stupid. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, but I have a gravel. It's going to wash away the torches. Oh, well. And here come the bad guys. Run. Just run. It's not like you haven't outrun bad guys before. Heck, you have to do it in real life, you know? Your neighbors. The guy at the store that decided to beat me up because he didn't want me to put my groceries on the counter next to his for some stupid reason because I guess when he's in the store, he owns the counter and everybody in it in the store. So he just beat me up. He started shoving me around in the store and then he knocked me down in the parking lot. And the store manager, who I thought was my friend, uh, told the police that she thought it was mutual, that it was both our faults. And so, basically, the guy got away with what he did. There wasn't a thing I could do. So I don't go in that store anymore because I'm not safe. This is great. I'm in a two, one by two with a zombie. It doesn't seem to be able to hit me because we're so close. Okay, we're leaving. I really need food. Really, really need food. Get out in the water. Get out in the water. They pretty much can't outrun you, you know. Is that a slime? Good lord, that's a slime. Do I need slime? Because look at that. Look at the size of that booger. Wow. That's just, don't lose track of it because it's interesting. Oh my gosh, look at you. Senor Slimerino. You must be so proud of yourself. And it sees me. <laughs> I'm so sick and hungry and weak and tired and... Is that the wind, moon's going down, no? <laughs> oh, it's the witch hut. Oh, it's the witch hut. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized, oh, it's the witch hut. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the witch hut. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, it's the witch hut. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't be happy. Okay. 
<laughs> oh well, I cracked myself up. Dang that creeper for blowing up my stuff. Jerk. I don't want you. Look at me not cheating and doing this. It's shaky time because, you know, well, low FPS people are watching me. I'm very pleased with how much better the computer's doing. Now, mind you, this is only 12, 13, 14 FPS right now. But by my standards, that's functional, you know, while recording. Heck yeah. So, it looks like I'm going to make it through a bingo. It won't be a good time, but I'll make it through a bingo without cheating, Brian. But, I mean, you know, the cheaty chest is not cheating. You put it there for us to use. But nobody else is using it, only me. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but I don't really care about time. I care about getting through it and building my confidence and getting some skills and improving my memory as I try to remember the things on the card, you know. Because if I was in a really big hurry, I would not be chopping down all these shroomy doodles right now, would I? And I need a lot of food because I just need to be healthy. Because I have to kill a spider for one thing. Whoops. How many should I make? Probably two. Maybe three. Okay. So it's about making it. It's also about, you know, there are people on my channel who are just as scared of this game as I am. And... I need to restart my recording, so hang on. And there, uh, there are people that are afraid to even try to play this game because it makes some of us sick. So I need to do a good job. And right now I need to eat some stew, thank you. Yeah, I guess a lot of people would like to see me stop playing because I don't play like other people and not the people they see and the channels they've subscribed to and that kind of stuff. But for people who can see well and for people who don't have problems with memory from brain injuries and for people who don't have problems with... Um, PTSD and the um, psychological pressure of the game. One of the things I don't think I've ever told you, my subscribers, is um, I finally figured out what zombies remind me of. You know that dull, droning, semi-threatening noise, but you've got time right now to get away from them because they're not right there and it's sort of like okay okay I get it you're threatening me you're a potential threat uh-huh yeah I'm scared I, I'm paying attention to you when I'd really rather pay attention to other stuff because you're demanding my attention and um and if I don't pay attention you hurt me Um, I was hoping I'd find that other crafting table. How are you? Well, I could use more brown, couldn't I? Uh, well, it reminds me of my mother. The constant droning threat. Oh my god, orchids. Just for my own. Some of you know what the orchids mean. Uh, that constant threat, that constant insistence that I pay attention and be scared and be worried and there's never any it's relentless it's like yeah yeah I get it I get it you're gonna hurt me and there's nothing I could do about it and I can't get away from you and will you please shut up already that's zombies and look at the card one more time That's what uh, zombies remind me of. 
that constant low grade threat that you're really going to get messed up. You're really going to most of the time. Well, not even most of the time, but maybe you get enough of a reprieve now and then that it's like, okay, I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Who cares? You know, but then you never know. You just, you never know. So there is no real peace. Those are poke holes. And that's why this game is hard. So the people who laugh at folks who've been traumatized, well, it's because of my mother that I have brain injuries. And PTSD. And the terror, oh, hi. Thank you. Sometimes this game is kind. A lot of the times it isn't. This game isn't a game for me. It's a challenge to recover from a living nightmare, basically. It's not just a game for me. It's recovery from serious trauma. So for me to play this game is for me to tell that little girl that got so badly hurt that I will take care of her. And those jerks making those threatening noises that are always around and always loud and always obnoxious and scary and always invading those jerks they don't get to own me or oh, they might kill me but I'm gonna be back you know I stopped playing this game for oh six months or more I was so traumatized and so freaked out I took it off my computer I committed game I committed suicide in game um on the server I was playing on, I took off all my armor and weapons, and I um, drowned myself in the ocean. I mean, excuse me, I went to the nether. Yeah, that's right. I went to the nether and uh, aggroed the pigmen and then jumped in lava and refused to respawn. See, I don't play games much, so I didn't realize that when you die, you don't die. You can come back, you know? I've only been playing a little while on this game. So I didn't know. And then on my single player world, I got in a boat and went very, very far out into the ocean. And I jumped out of the boat to drown. I went out into the ocean and I drowned. And I didn't respond. And then I took the game off my computer. It took about six months or more for me to decide I wasn't going to let this game own me. And to go back to the Mojang website and reload the game. Six months. I'm sorry, I'm kind of crying and stuff because it was hard. So this game has been, um, in a weird sort of way, a way for me to sort of heal. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know you want to hurt me, and I haven't done anything to you, so I don't know why you want to hurt me, but it's a thing, I get it, for some reason you think I deserve that, I don't, I don't deserve it, have a nice day, hey bat, other people don't like bats, I think bats are wonderful, Hi, Bat. I do wish you got more respect in the game. You know? I think you should get, oh, bonus points for not hurting bats. I think I should just get that gold because I can get that gold. 
I know it's a distraction, but you know, I'm not doing this for the time thing. I'm doing this for the, the other challenges, obviously. A lot of people, stuff comes easy to them. Not me. So this game isn't a game to me. It's medicine. And I get stronger every time I play it. I know it seems silly and pointless and... But for me it's therapy. And at this point, I don't care about no bingos. Sorry, Brian. You made this really cool map and I'm not playing it for bingo. I'll get a spider when a spider comes. You know? This game is kind of weird. It, the more you try to force it, the less it cooperates with you. He did put a lot of dungeons in here, didn't he? So yeah, speed challenges and stuff. I'm sure that's fun for other people, but for me, it's about... controlling myself with this game. Um... There was so much chaos and lack of control in my life because the people that were supposed that I was supposed to be able to trust to um, protect me and provide me stability were the craziest people in my life and the most dangerous and caused me the most harm and injury. So being able to trust and um, think that my environment is safe is not normal to me. To me, okay, it's to my right. I hear it and behind me. To me, um, there's no safety in being at home or stuff, you know? It's just, I'm never safe. In fact, even now living here on my own, I, uh, because I'm low income, because I can't work, I can't earn enough money to support myself full time. Um, I live in poverty, and so I'm around a lot of people that are pretty unhealthy, and that's um, terrifying. So I'm never even safe in my own home. Um, unhealthy neighbors, that sort of thing. People who just don't function well. People whose lives are miserable and they take it out on other people. I'm not saying that rich people don't do that too. Or affluent people, because I know a lot of them do. But, um, I'm surrounded by, uh, we're in close space, you know. Poor people have to live closely together. Um, space is for, space is a luxury. Ordinary people don't get space, you know. And so we're right up in each other's faces all the time. And there's not really much escape. Unless you get drunk and high, which I don't. So there's no way out, there's no way around it. So if they're sick and dysfunctional, they're right there in your life. I'm sorry if I'm being too, um, I guess personal would be the word. I'm sorry if I'm being too personal, but um, this is why I play Minecraft, and I think it's important for other people Oh, I dropped my mushrooms. Oh, that's not good. I think it's other good for other people who are afraid and don't think they're good enough to see me working at this and to know they're not alone. And I wish I'd had somebody like that for me, you know. I think there's a lot of stuff in gaming about people with disabilities are not good enough. People say blind and lame and cripple and, you know, stuff like that. What are you, deaf? Things like that. They say those things a lot. And I don't... And retard? I don't think they understand. 
that gaming is for everybody. And, um, gaming is actually very good for mental health. You know it's recommended for, um, elders to game because it's good for memory and concentration and stuff. And a lot of elders are gaming. In fact, elders, women, people of color, we're the new demographic. Because, see, back in the day, gaming was a kind of a techie thing. You know how hard it is to play this game because there's so much stuff you have to know about computers that I don't know about computers. Nope. Um, how the settings and... I, I've learned more about computers in this stupid game than I ever needed to learn. I should just be able to turn the game on and it works, but you have to know all kinds of geeky stuff to play it right. So now that's changing. People are on mobile devices and what are those, like, the pads and thingies? Oh, I see. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're going to be a jerk, aren't you? Well, I don't need any more jerks, so... I'm not really sure I want to goof around with you. Yeah, you're kind of a dud. You thought you were going to knock me in the lava, didn't you? Well, sorry about that. No spiders. Yeah, spiders. What was I saying? No spiders? Well, that took care of that. I can't find my way back. I know it. So, let's see. And I had most of my ingredients. So, I think that I'm going to have to say goodbye to this game. Because this is taking a very long time. And I'm very tired. Just when I got to the spiders, I died. So I'm going to call it a uh, bingo without being a bingo. So here I am back home. It was a much better playing game this time. Some of the cleaning up on my computer and stuff seems to have helped a good deal. I'm at 9, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12. That's how many FPS right now. You know what would be awesome? You know, I'm nobody, obviously, on my little old computer that was so old when I got it that the warranty was no good by the time I plugged it in. Got it on sale at Walmart for $300. And it's an old, cheap piece of junk. My rural internet sucks. I can't see. Whose head is this? Did I do that? I don't know. I would love it if someday Brian would put me on the wall just because I tried so damn hard. Yes, I said damn. Jerk. Hey, Berg. Thanks for being nice to me. And Winter? Yeah. I like her, but there have been things. You too, you know? I'm so supportive of your channel and... That doesn't come along all the time, you know, girl? Well, I don't even know who's... I, you know, I watch these people play, but I never see their heads. So, some of these people, I don't know who they are. Just from their heads, and I can't read those things. So, I wish I knew how to give player heads. Because I would do that and put my own head up here, because... There are all kinds of ways to be a winner. And I am. And so are you. Thanks for watching. I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Bye.